afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our Spotlight on History. Today, Wednesday, February 17th, 2021, I'm Mary Helen Dellinger, curator of the Manassas Museum System. Last week, uh, my post was about uh, for Black History Month. It was about slavery in Manassas and what that time period was like prior to the Civil War. Today, we're going to look at African-American achievement in the post-Civil War period. We have a small part of our main gallery dedicated to that here. So I'm gonna kind of step to the side a little bit and let my fantastic videographer, Rachel, zoom in and, and out so you can see everything. This section of the exhibit talks about education and really focuses quite a bit on the Manassas Industrial School for Colored Youth. Now that was a school that Jenny Dean, um, a former enslaved woman that lived here in Manassas, established. She had a minimal education herself and understood that education was the key to really being able to be successful in society. So she wanted to go out and establish a school. So that school opened in 1894 and offered both vocational and academic training to students. So we have here in this section of our main gallery uh, an, a part of an exhibit on education and it deals mostly with the Manassas Industrial School for Colored Youth and that's another one of the sites that's in our museum system. So the Manassas Industrial School was established by Jenny Dean. She was a former enslaved herself and had a minimal education and she understood that um, getting an education was kind of like the silver bullet and would help students, um, the young people of this community and other communities in the area, really be able to be a success. And so we wanted to have part of our exhibit dedicated to that to kind of show this type of black achievement. So here, um, there is a picture of Miss Dean back here in the back. Let Rachel get a good uh, picture of that. That's what she looked like. That's the only known image that we have of her. Um, it's kind of hard to see here because it is in a frame. And so we do have that up. And then the rest of this exhibit here to the right of that image shows pieces from the school and some other images. So people may wonder why Frederick Douglass is on display here. Frederick Douglass gave the keynote address that opened the Manassas Industrial School on September 3rd, 1894. So he was actually here in Manassas. It's a very cool thing that not a lot of people know about. And here are some other pieces, some of them from the Manassas Industrial School. This cap was worn by Willis Alexander, who was a student at the school. They did have uniforms, and this cap was donated by um, one of his descendants, and that's an original cap. It's the only one that I know of to exist. There may be others out there somewhere. And then this embosser over here on the right is also from the Manassas Industrial School and carries the seal of the school. And then you can see in the back the original Undaunted Faith that was the story of Jenny Dean now and it's in several different printings and you can you can find those books here at the museum so one of the two other things that i wanted to share today that talk about african-american achievement are the diplomas that were issued by the industrial school and i'm just going to step right over here so you can see here one of my favorite pictures that shows the manassas industrial school before we get to the diplomas this is the graduating class of 1908 and you can see that right there on their banner i like this picture because it really shows african-american youth at a time when the public had a very uh, certain perception about them. This picture shows confident young men and women staring right at the camera. They've received an education and they're ready to go out into the world. So this kind of shows you um, the, the nature of the classes, how small they were, and that they did take men and women. So I really like that picture. But we have in our collection two diplomas that were issued by the school. This one, and we switch them back and forth. So the one that's currently on display now is for Abner Leroy Adams and he was awarded this diploma at the end of May in 1930. He did not live here. He came to school here from over in Warrington. And so this is his diploma that was issued. Um, he was actually killed in action on June 6, 1944 with the invasion of Normandy with U.S. forces. So he, he actually joined the military at some point after he graduated from the school. We also have this diploma that was issued to Lula Pearl Buckner a few years before Mr. Adams in 1925. This was the first diploma that we got um, given to the collection for, from the school. And she went on to become a teacher, just like the people that she learned from there at the school. So we invite you to come by the museum during Black History Month, during the month of February, to learn more about slavery in Manassas and also about black achievement at the end of the 19th, beginning of the 20th century. And if you wanna know more about the Manassas Industrial School, I encourage you to go over to that site. It's right over near Jenny Dean Elementary, at the end, at, right at the end of Wellington Road and, and the intersection of Prince William Street. 
And we have a brand new statue there to Miss Dean. There's some benches, you can relax. Even if it's cold, it's worth the trip to go over there and walk around, see the memorial, the grounds, the brand new kiosk, and the three-dimensional model of what the campus used to look like. So thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope you have a great Black History Month.